chanted slogans such as people before profits. In the past, street protests in Israel have generally been held over issues of security. But these demonstrators, many from the middle classes, are angry about the economy. Carrying the national flag, as many as 200,000 people turned out in cities such as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. They chanted slogans calling for wholesale economic changes in Israel. The cost of living is rising fast, they say, and wages haven't been keeping pace. Ordinary people are becoming increasingly disgruntled. Once we had the smallest gaps between rich and poor, we had the smallest gap in the world. Today we are number one for the largest gaps between rich and poor. And I think what we're seeing here tonight, what we've been seeing for the past few weeks, is that people have simply had enough. Something has to change. The prices are going up and up. The petrol, the food, the um, housing, and uh, it's just happening slowly without us noticing, and it's difficult to live like this. This is the third weekend in a row in which demonstrators have come out to demand the government of Benjamin Netanyahu make economic reforms. So far, the government has promised to listen to their calls, particularly on the issue of more affordable housing. But whether they are parents angry at childcare costs or doctors protesting over working conditions, they'll want to see real evidence of change before these protests are called off. Will Grant, BBC News. In Somalia, the military...